What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to draw a cartoon head with wavy hair using that man Sir Cruz. Go check him out on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time you butt drop some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do is drop the opacity down on your picture. Drop the opacity down. Then you want to um, lock that layer, create you a new layer. Let's see. Zoom in. You want to go right here. Let's go to new brush. Hit OK. Down the pressure, change these bottom numbers to three, and hit OK. And you only can get that option if you're using a digital art tablet. I'm using a UG tablet I got off of Amazon, 21 inch. So now that I got my pressure set on my brush, I'm gonna go in and create all the line work. Make sure you closing your lines off so you won't have no problems when it's time to do the coloring method. So I'm gonna make sure these lines are getting closed off. Right there. Okay, now what we finna do is we finna work on the fade, this, this section right here. So what you wanna do, you wanna zoom in, you wanna, we're gonna start out with the one point brush, and we're gonna make the lines. settings look exactly like mine's hit okay now we're gonna fill in the hair so we're gonna come right here move this color to the top move the black to the top and make sure you lock the black the bottom color there we're gonna fill in right above it so the fade a little Thank you. 
Okay, now that we got the line work finished, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select everything. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, hit Merge on your Pathfinder to make everything one, make all our lines become one. And I'm gonna shrink it down by holding shift and alt at the same time while pulling the edges in. Make it a little smaller. Okay, now it's time to do the coloring process. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag our line work layer to this blank sheet of paper, lock the top copy, select the bottom, get to find us a nice little base color to start out with. For the skin, and that's a select your rectangle tool, drag it over your artwork. Now you want to right click the color, go to arrange. And send to back. You'll know if you did that step right if you look over here and you see your line work sitting on top of the color. Now you want to select everything again and hit merge on your pathfinder to make your line work become one with the color. Right click the color, go to isolate select group, and now we can delete that outer color. That we don't need let's go ahead and hit this drop down menu so we can lock all our black line work I'm gonna stroll down to your last black line work you want to lock them all by strolling up while holding okay Unlock the top two and close it back. Hit this white arrow so we can get the color out of the hairs. Delete. Delete that. Hit delete. Delete. Go back to our regular selection tool. Let's finish adding our base color down. Isolate, select group. That's why I say make sure your lines closed off. So when it's time to color, you can click certain areas without coloring everything else. So. Now that we got the base color down, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lock that layer, create us a new layer in between. And we're gonna start with our dark shadows first. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sample the skin tone with our drop tool, our dropper tool, we'll sample the skin tone. And we're gonna find a nice dark tone shadow. Right now, go to our pencil tool. We're gonna add our dark shadows.
Okay, now that we did all our dark shadows on that layer, we're gonna create a new layer right under that. And we're gonna make our mid-tone shadows. And then we're just gonna keep adding layers the lighter we get with the shadows. Unlock all your uh, color layers, but leave the top line, piece of line work locked. And you want to highlight everything, go to edit, edit color, color harmony. You want to come right here and click all. Now we're going to tweak our colors to make sure they're flowing better than they are right now. We got the colors tweaked just how we want it for right now. Let's go ahead and finish shading. So we're gonna lock the layers we don't need right now. Go back to our, our mid tone. Okay, now that we finally finished with the coloring, 
what you want to do you want to create you a layer right under the top line work then you want to come and you can choose any bright color let's say we're going to start with pink we're going to go with our pencil tool and we're going to draw out the fade Side burn, we're gonna come up. Okay, we got it. Let's clean it up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to select what we just drew, go to Object, Expand Appearance, click Merge, and we're going to try to find the gradient layer. You can use the Fade and Sky. Okay, we're going to make this. this right here the angle and we're gonna bring it over to about right 152 gradient tool I mean my bad let's go back select the cubic select it pull this color down
And there you have it. How you do the little fade. You just got to keep keep playing with it until you get it exactly how you like it. I think I'm going to go back to the layer. The line wood layer. And we're going to add a couple more hairs right here. Okay, now that we finish with all the coloring, even the fade on the sideburn, we fin to add the waves. So what you wanna do, you wanna create you a layer right above the line work. You wanna come, let's see how we gonna approach it. Yeah, you wanna come to your gradient tool right here. Create you a point in the middle make both your edges black and you want to kind of make this so bright bring your, your edges a little closer see if our lines look Pretty good. Okay. Now we just gonna do the same effect we see on the picture. Then we just gonna keep that same, that same method going like a dip. same pattern going all the way through 